Hi, I'm Min Jae Seo. Today, I'd like to present deep imitation learning for humanoid local manipulation through human teleoperation. Deploying humanoid robots in our everyday environments provides numerous benefits. Humanoid robots, which have a similar morphology to humans, are ideally suited for tasks in human environments. Their versatile morphology enables them to perform a wide variety of tasks. Furthermore, their advanced locomotion capabilities expand their workspace beyond what is achievable by tabletop manipulators or wheeled robots. This enables more effective local manipulation. However, to achieve these goals, several key capabilities are essential. The robot must be capable of making decisions based on raw perception through their onboard sensors. They need to control their complex morphologies and dynamics in real time. Robot operations should be robust enough to handle contact-rich tasks consistently and effectively. One promising approach for achieving such robot autonomy is learning from demonstration. In this paradigm, robots can acquire complex motor skills and decision-making capabilities by imitating experts' demonstrations without extensive human programming. Previous research has explored methods of collecting demonstration data through teleoperation and training autonomous policies for complex visual motor skills. However, many of such works do not address the complex dynamics of leg robots which is a crucial component for training humanoid robots. Instead, they are limited to tasks of tabletop or wheeled manipulation. To tackle this challenge, we present TRIL, a method that trains high-level visual motor policies with an underlying whole body controller. This structure enables the high-level policy to learn complex visual motor skills. The low-level controller then converts these high-level commands into joint torques, compensating for limited sensor modalities in high-level decision-making. We begin by collecting task demonstrations through human teleoperation of the robot. Imitation learning is then applied to train high-level visual motor policies. During deployment, the visual motor policy generates task space commands including hand trajectory outputs and locomotion commands based on predefined gate sequences. Finally, these task space commands are converted into joint torques which are executed through the whole body controller. Let me provide details of the high-level visual motor policy. Stereo visual observations aligned with VR teleoperation are first encoded through Resident 18 networks. The encoded features concatenated with proprioceptive feedback are used to generate policy outputs through an RNN, which includes an LSTM. We apply multiple heads for different actions, grasping, hand trajectories, and locomotion actions based on predefined gate sequences. To address the multimodality of human demonstrations and the error distribution in leg robot control, we utilize a Gaussian mixture model for hand trajectories. We introduce two types of abstraction to efficiently learn from sparse locomotion actions in task demonstrations. A gate trigger, predicting when to start walking, and locomotion types determining the robot's walking behavior. The task space commands are then processed through the whole body controller. During task demonstrations, these commands are given from human teleoperation, not from the high-level visual motor policies. To ensure safe robot operation, the hand trajectories are interpolated to produce the final target trajectories. Predefined gate sequences are utilized in the DCM gate planner to compute the final foot trajectories. The trajectories for both hand and feet along with stabilizing the robot's body are handled through whole body control.
Now, we showcase that human demonstrators can execute a variety of dexterous manipulation tasks. Our VR teleoperation system reduces the cognitive and physical burdens for human operators to provide task demonstration. As a result, our teleoperation system can produce high-quality demonstration while maintaining safe robot operation. Finally, we validated our method in both simulation and the real robot system. We collected 250 trajectories for each policy. The trained policies achieved a 92% success rate in local manipulation tasks in simulation and a 90% success rate in complex bimanual manipulation tasks with the real robot. These real robot results demonstrate the robustness against controller limitations, sensor inaccuracies, and floating base dynamics. Now, we systemically evaluate our method and compare it with other behavior cloning baselines. As you can see, Tiro achieved the highest performance in all types of free space locomotion, complex manipulation, and local manipulation tasks. We also conducted evaluation studies to evaluate the impact of observation and action space designs comparing self variations of our final model. In the free space locomotion tasks, the result of categorical locomotion action implied that separating locomotion actions into gate triggers and locomotion types improves learning efficiency. In complex manipulation tasks, observation variants show a significant performance drop emphasizing the importance of stereoscopic vision and proprioceptive feedback. Additionally, comparing with deterministic hand action variants, we found that learning hand trajectory distribution rather than using deterministic actions more effectively captures the variability and error distribution in human demonstrations. In local manipulation tasks, we observed similar performance drops as seen in complex manipulation tasks. Here, conclusion. In this study, we introduced a skill learning framework for humanoid robots through teleoperation TRIL. Our method enables the effective learning of complex visual motor skills. In our approach, the whole body controller ensures safe operation during both teleoperation and policy deployment, compensating for sensing limitations in high-level decision making. We further presented TRIL's teleoperation system showcasing dexterous manipulation capability. The practicality of TRIL was demonstrated through both simulated environments and the real robot system. As limitations in this work, we addressed only short horizon tasks and used predefined gate sequences which limited the application of flexible locomotion behaviors. These limitations will be addressed in our future work. Thank you for listening.